It's a new year. I got new goals. You know, I'm strapping on the snowboard a little bit this year. The Groove Meister has got his restaurant going. It's essentially been like two years since we've been in the Whistle backcountry. I got a crew of snowboard homies that I usually don't ride with because we're on, you know, separate film crews. We've just been taking full advantage of getting the feel for the backcountry. <laughs> Hopefully pick up some awards for all our efforts last year. Here we go. Putting Mikey, Arrow, and Ika on rental skis. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in my life. Last year was definitely a wild season of chasing around snow. We managed to pull together our movie and The Masquerade came out in the fall and uh, it's, been, it's been really successful. You know, it's really cool to have, you know, so many months put into this project and, you know, the only reward is when it's released to everybody. The tour, oh, the tour was nuts. I mean, uh, you know, we went all over the world. All I can really say about the tour was that the tour got serious. We're here in Salt Lake City, and uh, we're here for the 16th annual Powder Words. I've been coming to Powder Words for 11 years. And yeah, this is pretty much the last tour stop before the season really kicks off. So hopefully pick up some awards for all our efforts last season and go into this season with some confidence. If you're getting a Powder Word, you're, you're in the right spot. I mean, even just being nominated for an award here is, uh, is intense. You know, you're, you're up against all the best guys in the world. He is Sean. That's always an exciting time to see uh, how well you did as an athlete and for this case, this time around as a filmmaker. Ooh, there we go. So I won Best Natural Air for our last trip to Alaska last year and it's a big award for me. I try to do as many things naturally in the backcountry as possible so I think I uh, succeeded myself more than anything. Fans are, are excited and so is the industry, so I think that's good. That's, that's where I want to be sitting in, in my ski career. It's still 2015 and we're already out sledding. We got a bunch of fresh snow. Got uh, Mikey Rands, Aero Nimola, and uh, Iga Backstrom. We are all gonna go have a good old time. I'm bringing the skis, I'm bringing the snowboard. I got a crew of snowboard homies that I usually don't ride with because we're on you know separate film crews. It's not really likely for us to go out together, so beginning of the year we said, let's just go out to the backcountry and let's just, let's go have some fun. It's good for both sides, you know, we got snowboarders go out with me skiing. We all look at things differently, so I think it's cool to bounce ideas back and forth. That was so sick! It's my first, like, backcountry power on the snowboard, so I've only been really no-boarding, so the snowboard is a different story and it is real fun. He's awesome on the snowboard, like, he charges for sure. Like, we saw him dropping in for this run the other day. I was thinking, like, I don't know if he knows there's a big cliff under there, and he just, <laughs> right off the cliff. Just super flat, it was awesome. Oh! He charges on the snowboard, it's super fun to watch. <laughs> I think I got my, got my confidence up a little too soon. I just want to continue to see if I can progress my snowboarding a little more in order to progress my skiing more. Oh, wow. One of my goals by the end of the year is I want to have a photo published of me snowboarding. Ultimately, I'm, you know, highly influenced by snowboarding style and I really like watching snowboarding and I feel like it reflects my skiing style a little bit.
you just quit. I mean, I brought up the ski boots just so you could try them today. They're so hard. Yeah. I feel like my ankles are gonna break. They won't. <laughs> Respect you so much more every day. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah! There he is! Skiing's hard. I didn't know it was that hard. I don't know, when you get on a steep hill, it's just kind of terrifying because you don't know if you're going to be able to turn the skis. There we go! <laughs> I'm going to have a little more of a telemark style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give up somewhere, no. Not getting some skis yet. <laughs> Get it! Full commitment! Oh. Don't give up! <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive. I'm sure that's what you thought when I went. <laughs> we were just having a cruisy little day and then the sun's pretty much going down and we found this little fun little step down. Rochambeau for who goes first. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Skier goes first! Obviously, when I don't want to go first, I win the Rochambeau and I'm going first. And it's like the first step down of the year. I'm all like kind of nervous a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to hit a cliff again. First real trick of the year. places I haven't been, features I haven't seen. It's cool to know that no matter how long I've been going into Whistler backcountry, I still can go out and find new things every time we go out. It's quarter to 10, and Groovemeister is still sleeping. Recently opened for brunch at 10 a.m., and it's currently quarter to 10. Groovemeister! Come on, let's go, go, go. So yeah, I was staying with a, uh, a guy up the street and uh, he took her off to Mexico and I was out on the street. And so guess what happened? <laughs> I'm knocking on Shawnee's door again. And now I'm getting lectured by him regularly. So I'm not quite sure what's happening. It's uh, already a bit of a process getting him organized and to work on time. <laughs> yeah, a huge right. challenge uh, for me to get in. Uh, we've tried it a couple times, getting up at six, seven, and it's just not working with me at all. I've got to change um, some old, old habits. Thankfully, he's uh, given up on the whole going pro thing, and he's decided to 100% focus on this restaurant. He wants to ultimately run, you know, the best restaurant in town. So if he's going to do that, then he's going to uh, put his head down and get to work. Seems like it's a topsy-turvy world at times. I'm not doing a backflip on snow. I'm doing a backflip in my life. <laughs> we are up at Mount Seymour, and we are putting Mikey, Arrow, and Ika on some rental skis. And me and Callum are going to go snowboarding. Ooh, those are nice looking boots, guys. Buckled in and ready to rock. You got to rate yourself uh, one to three, and Arrow and Ika both considered themselves to be twos. Definitely a two. Mikey's claiming a one, but I think he might be up there on a two, too, so we'll see what happens, really. I'm actually nervous. What if I don't know how to stop? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Erasers ready? Let's get it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was exhausting. <laughs> 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 Let's hit 
hit that hip as a core fight. No, thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Nighttime in the city is just such an appropriate place and time for us all to just learn. I've never laughed so hard in my life watching those boys on skis. Night Riders on three, one, two, three, Night, night riders. riders! You guys are all threes, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Couple threes. If you're not gonna be getting beat down doing it, then you're not doing it right. Up here with my boy Marky Poops today. Party Ranitos. It's his first day in the backcountry this year. It just really wasn't a jump for me to try a double cork at any on it at all. They got the eye. That was weird. I've never done that before. <laughs> Heading to Kingfisher Heli Lodge. Cruising with my broski, Cal. There's just this tiny little hole going through the mountain. I could have skied there for the rest of the year. And I'm not telling you where it is because I'm coming back.